Hi guys, my big check in on my nose. I'm doing this tutorial for this look. Um, it's a light, very light turquoise in the lid with a very dark blue on like almost a royal blue on the crease and tutorial. And um, I hope you guys like it. Use this turquoisey color right here. Um, so it looks like that. It's an aqua turquoise. And use my favorite brush to apply eyeshadows, which is a synthetic angled brush. Um, the reason why is because it's thin and I can be more precise. Um, it packs on the color way better. And I just like this brush a lot. So get some on the brush and apply that to the whole eyelid. So just do that. I always take my lid color all the way to the crease and just stop in the crease because for some reason when I do my makeup I raise my eyebrows um, so when I relax my eye it um, kind of covers some of it so yeah I have to do that trick that I put it on the crease also Make sure you cover the whole lid um, evenly. Um, you're going to want to go into another palette and the palette that I'm using for the other color is actually... I'm going into this um, CoverGirl palette. I've seen this a lot on YouTube so I don't know the name. I took it off. Oh no, it's Tropical Fusion. The number is 205. It has these bright colors. Um, I bought this because of the colors. I like bright colors. And I'm going to go into the, um, it's actually this one. This round, because not an angle, so you can see the difference. This is just round. And, um, it's also a synthetic brush. I'm going to go in to this color right here. And this is a, um, a very dark blue. So you're going to take that on the brush. And you're going to apply this to the crease or I like I said I put the lid color on the crease so just above the crease and um, when you relax your eye see how it covered the um, thing opposed to when I hover I mean when I raise my eyebrow um, so you relax your eye and then create the shape so that it shows when your eyes are relaxed and then just follow that. So I relax my eye and make so that it shows when I, it's relaxed. See? And it just needs a little bit more here. that and go back with the lid color since some of the crease color might have fallen in there. So let's take a fluffy brush and just blend out the turquoise color or that dark blue color not the tur turquoise color. Okay, um, for the highlight color, I use this palette, um, I don't know the name, it's just in a red thing, my dad bought it from work, someone gave it, to him, gave it to him, and there's this white strip of color here, and I'm, I just use that because it's um, a matte white, it has absolutely no shimmer, and I like yellow for some odd reason, oh, okay, there, it's normal. Um, so I'm going to fill in my brows. Okay. 
Okay, so I did my eyebrow. I had to do it in my restroom because doing it in the, um, here, it's not worked well for me. So the next thing you're going to do is get your Starry Eyeliner Gel or any cream eyeliner gel. Interpret your own shadows. There's many shadows. There's 120 palette, cover girl, any shadows that um, are similar to this, just use those. You don't have to use what I use. Um, you could use MAC if you have MAC. Um, I'm not that type of person who loves high-end stuff. Um, I think there's many other stuff that's substituted. So, yeah. So you're going to line your um, top lash line. Tip, if your lashes don't curl, try heating up, getting your um, eyelash curler warm, not hot, warm, and then curl your lashes and do, do one going like this and then the other one in the middle and then the one at the top so that way it has like a more natural curl when you heat it up because if you heat it up and then just curl them, you're going to have like that and then that and you, that doesn't really look good. So yeah. Um, I used to do that but I don't know. I'm using Colossal, Colossal Volume Express Mascara. This one is waterproof. I have a makeup remover that takes waterproof stuff and it really does work so I use that. I have no problem taking waterproof mascara off. So you're going to put a mascara on the bottom lashes. Okay. And you're going to want to get your lash glue because we're going to put false lashes on. I always do. So yeah. 